Hello, Forge of Empire fans. Here I am once again in Guild Expedition Level 5. I have completed 76 encounters, so I am on number 77. The last set of four encounters, and this is the first. This is the first of the last four, and at this stage, it's quite interesting because my opponent is almost or maybe better than I am in terms of boost. If you were to look, the champion has a 313 attack and 313 defensive boost. Now the interesting part is each unit has a strength and a weakness. Okay? So the champion, which is a fast unit, has an uh, attack bonus and a defense bonus against a range unit. You see that? 4-4. Four, four. So to the 37 points that he can hit with or the 33 that he can absorb, you add 4 if he's facing a range unit. The same goes for the fast unit, the mounted warrior. Now the ballista has a advantage against a light unit and a heavy unit. Light unit, he has an attack bonus of two. Heavy unit, he has a defensive bonus of four, as well as an attack bonus of four. The archer is the same as the ballista. So that leaves just the light unit and the heavy unit. The heavy unit has an advantage against a heavy unit. That's interesting. And... Sorry. Has an advantage against a light unit. Okay. I'm not sure what that defensive boost... Ah, the defensive boost, he also gets a terrain defensive boost if he's on flat ground. The light unit is the one we have to watch out for. He gets an attack bo uh, boost bonus against the fast unit, which is the heavy cavalry, which I'm using. He also gets a uh, terrain boost if he's in a forest or if he's in a bush. Okay, so seeing that, there's only one of each unit and there's three ballistas because they count the champion and the regular fast unit, the cavalry, as one of each. Okay, uh, we want to leave the champion alive as long as we can because as soon as he is eliminated, any remaining units receive a boost. So, uh, my attack boost is 245, and my defense boost is 417. Let's go and see how we do. Keep in mind that my opponent has two waves, which means he can weaken me in the first wave and eliminate me in the second wave. So the two fast units are out. The light units is out. And the archer is out. I can only reach... Huh. Sad. Okay. I can only reach what I can reach. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, now, 
I can reach the light unit and it doesn't seem to be on a forest it's on a hill okay good for me lucky me all right so as you can see my unit got slightly damaged by going after him but it is what it is okay let's go after all right. let's see if I am So that was a mistake. Maybe I will retreat. We'll see how we do. I'm going to retreat because I don't like my position. Yep. I don't like the terrain. I can't hit the ballistas. They'll decimate at least one, if not more, of my units at the second wave. So, going after the champion was a mistake. Okay. So let's try it again. Okay, this is much better because I can eliminate the light unit with two hits. I will suffer some damage, but I think I'll be okay with that. Okay. Here we go. And I'm going to go after the archer because I hope the cavalry, when he attacks my rogues, transforms them into heavy cavalry. The retaliation will weaken him so I can take him out on the second hit. Okay. So let's see how we do. even after my one so what I'm going to do is protect him so he doesn't weaken any further yeah okay and now OK. 
So I've got three wounded and that's going to be a problem but it is what it is and it is encounter 77 and let's see what happens. to sacrifice one or two. Whoa, okay. Yeah, okay. Ah, I hit his light unit but I didn't eliminate him. That's bad. All right, let's go up to the next one. going to eliminate that particular horse and there he goes so we lost one but that's okay at this stage because we're here to win okay he doesn't have a Gonna lose this guy too, probably. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna lose him now because the two ballistas are still left and even the heavy unit is still around if he reaches my light I lose the second one but then that's the only thing that I will lose, so I lose two rogues he chose to go for that one yep, there he goes and now He's at full force. We want to go. Okay. So we lost two rogues, but we won the battle. And we could have lost three because three were moderately injured. So overall, I think it's a success. It in Capture 77, when his attack boost is stronger than mine, because I rather put my 
emphasis on my defense. Well, I hope this was informative for you. And there wasn't much to do with terrain. And if there was, I didn't pay attention to it. <laughs>